for an LLC. It just depends on what two people are willing to work out, what they feel comfortable with. Or find one person with 20 grand and make them your 50-50 partner or your 20% partner or get a promissory note, however. But if the deal makes sense, Ramon said it perfectly on a call we did on Sunday, there's, a, there's no short of funding for a good deal. Any good deal could get funded because there's so much money floating around here who's only looking at what is my return on my money and how is it secured. So if you can show how a deal is secure, there's always funding available. If you got the hustle and if you got the willpower and networking ability to find the money and go to the money, it's out there. And so if you could always get some type of financing and be able to partner or pool certain kind of money, you can always, the same thing happens on a $100,000 level that happens in a $10 million space in a $100 million space. Same exact thing happens. I got a deal right now in Austin, Texas, the Dream Hotel. We got 85% of the, it's a, it's a $100 million deal. Got a loan for 85 million. The group that wants to bring me in has 5 million in it. So they already in it for 90. And they had 10 more million, they had 10% of the 100 million. They already got 90. That makes it way easier for me to go out and bring partners in and raise the money because now, one, the performer for the deal is excellent, it's beautiful, great rebuild, and a three-year payback. But outside of just those numbers, they already got 90 million skin in the game. So when you show you already have some level of financing, even if it's not your own, it still makes sense for someone else. So just you come and saying, I got a private partner, and we got already got 80% of the funding. I just need the last 20%. The rest are already taken care of. That makes an investor feel comfortable because they're not the only one at risk, and it's not all their cost. So it's just leveraging that conversation, leveraging that, that knowledge. That's the only thing missing from 100% financing. It's bringing 100% to the finances to the table, however you do it. And there's ways you just could piece that together. So those are just, I guess, sharp components. I wish we had a, a easel and I would have really sketched it out for you, um, but hopefully you guys are verbal learners. But those are like just some um, core, very specific things that we all can do, whether you are starting as a home buyer or at least promote to your family to start as home buyers, because some of you already passed that, cool. But what about your family though? Where's their knowledge base at? Where's their asset base at? It's not just about you, it ain't just about me. That's the other part, is remember that you're part of a larger community. That's what we forgot. It's not us competing against each other to see who get the riches. It's about getting comfortable, building your financial freedom, building your assets, financial freedom being enough residual income that pays for your lifestyle. Lifestyle including savings, other investments, and self-development, everything you need to have a great lifestyle for yourself and your family. You want enough residual assets to be able to cover those costs. Right now, today, in your future dream world. That's financial freedom. Those assets can be through stocks, bonds, businesses, or real estate. Real estate is one core component, one vehicle, and a great easy start for our people. If we do that, and we understand how to, how to be a little more savvy and as investors, and putting our deals together, and learn how to trust each other in doing deals together, because there's enough money in this room to buy a path to Atlanta. Maybe not, but still. We can do some things. But that component as well can help us elevate and build wealth as investors. So there's, there's levels to it. There's different levels. We're all on different levels, but there's still ways in which we can cohesive, be, be cohesive and work together. And so um, that, I guess, what I would say is what I want to offer you guys um, for tonight and my time in Atlanta on Building Black Wealth. Thank you.